I'm just going to talk about tidal streams and currents. Well, a tidal stream, they're actually astronomical in origin, and we get high, low water tides. Currents are mainly meteorological, caused by the meteorological conditions, although the astronomical effect is still there with them. So we have tidal streams and currents. With regard to tidal streams, as well as the sun and the moon having an effect, and that is the major effect on high and low water, that's the, the, the predominant effect, there is a small effect created in other ways. And let's just talk about those ways. Well, it, mainly it's meteorological. So if you've got, pre look at the pressure, the barometric pressure, high pressure and low pressure. If you have high pressure, it actually tends to make the tide lower. If you have low pressure, it tends to make it higher. It raises it slightly. Rain can have an effect. If you have torrential rain, torrential downpour, that can obviously increase the amount of water, so it um, raise the level of the water. The wind can have an effect as well. If you imagine the wind is blowing a uh, gale force towards the shore or away from the shore, then it's going to heat the water up towards the shore or blow the water away from the shore. So that's going to have an effect upon the depth as well. Also, if the wind is blowing in the same direction down the coast for an extended period, it can create what's called a storm surge where the waves gather up become rolling waves and you get what's called a storm surge. Also there's what's known as a siege and that's where you get a sudden abrupt and extreme change in weather. So if you suddenly get this huge change in weather it can cause a siege which changes the, um, the, the, the height of the water. Also when you think about it the topography of the land i.e. the shape of the land can affect the uh, the effect can affect how the water behaves because if you have a very ragged coastline a very rugged coastline with lots of inlets then the speed of the water and the depth of the water can change quite dramatically also if the depth of the coastline leading towards the coast changes dramatically that can also have a, a big effect a sudden effect so you can see as well as the sun and the moon there are other factors that affect the height of tide experienced but I must stress that these factors aren't anywhere near as pronounced as the effect that the Sun and particularly the moon has on our tides. Also tides are known as diurnal tides or semi diurnal. Diurnal or daily tides and that's quite a uh, often the case in the Pacific where you've got huge expanses of water you generally will get a daily tide they can occur there. Semi-diurnal tides are where you get twice daily you get the high water and low water and they're of course the ones that we would generally experience in the UK. So our tides are semi-diurnal twice daily as opposed to diurnal which is just daily.